In the parts 1, 2, 3 we have made the basic car setup, the collision settings and we have added deformer objects to deform the car body and to shatter the headlights. In this part we will complete the scene by adding an airbag and a crash test dummy as driver. Our dummy is built up completely with C4D dynamics. There is nothing to be controlled by the drive plugin. So the cockpit of the car that constrain the figure is made by invisible cubes fitted within rigid body tag. And here you have to switch off the dynamic. Then we have several connectors that connect the parts of the figure and we have here a spring to stabilize the head and neck and special thing is our seat belts these are realized by springs too so you have to set the damping and stiffness to control the strength of the belt And one more special thing is we have two joints here so that we can deform the neck. The goal is in the head. So let's copy the dummy. Place it into the car body. So before we can make a test it's important to synchronize the time scaling of dynamics to the time scaling of drive. So we go to the project settings here. Dynamics. We have this time scaling so we could set keyframes at the same key values than the drive simulation but I can say as you may expect I have checked this already and I can say that it does not work unfortunately because the dynamic system or better to say our dynamics rig of the dummy has problems with this change from 100% to 10%. So we have to abandon this time scaling change. I have to run the simulation from start to finish with a constant time scaling. I set it back to 10% so that we can better see what happens during the collision. Dynamics time scale. Let's make some objects invisible so that we can better see here what the dummy does. So let's create a camera that will follow the car. and start the animation. So this looks rather good. As you may have noticed, the movement of the dummy occurs a bit later than the, the touching of the obstacle because as long as the crumple zone absorbs the crash energy, the load of the driver is very low, just like in reality. So next let's add an airbag. 
This is our airbag. It's a simple cylinder with the big radius on the fillet. So we will later animate the radius, the height and the radius of the fillet. So I uh, set here some keyframes to show you how we will animate the airbag. In order to get a bit of the behavior of an inflating airbag I put here a jiggle object so I can demonstrate what looks like so you see a bit of this balloon behavior so I delete these keys because we will control the parameters by Expresso so let's copy this the airbag is placed here in the car object nearby the dummy so now let's extend our Expresso setup to control the airbag. The airbag is enabled when the FFD is enabled. So this is the time when the collision occurs. So first we need this airbag object here. And we also need the jiggle object. So next we need this cylinder parameters. For the parameters of our airbag cylinder, we can use again the output of our wirings for the explosion and shatter objects. Of course, we need another range mapper. So we will set the input value between 25 and 80, the output between 1 and 20 and here it's important to set these clamp values to limit the output value within this range okay so let's connect the input and the output directly here to the height and the radius of the cylinder the fillet radius has to be scaled a bit down so we need a multiplier scales down the value of 0.5 output of the range mapper will be set to the fillet radius ok let's see how it looks Okay, the airbag is working, but as you have seen, the head of the dummy does not touch the airbag, so we have to make the belts a bit softer. So let's go to the dummy, set the stiffness here a bit lower. And test again. Okay, this looks good. So this is the final setup for the animation. Now you can add some ambient stuff, spotlights and the hall 
Hope this tutorial can help somebody to make nice car crash animations. So, see you. Bye.